Hello again everyone and welcome back to Poetry Surprises and the Covid Quarantine. It's now day two. Now, since I last spoke to you, I had an interesting experience. Um, I actually had a phone call from HM Gov asking me if I was at home. Now, I've only been back 24 hours by the time this happened. And I spoke to this guy and he told me that the message was being recorded, which was just as well, because to be honest, I couldn't understand a word he said. Now, this was an interesting experience because I was really struggling and I kept on asking him to repeat himself because I thought, well, I'd better not get the answer wrong because, you know, I might have MI5 down here. I might have the Black Mariahs or anything, you know. So um, I, I said, you yeah, know, can you repeat? And he repeated. And I said, I, th I think I've got that. And the answer's yes, I am at home and blah, blah, blah. And I am aware that I'm, I've got to quarantine for 14 days. And, and then I asked him to repeat again. And then he was speaking very quickly, but he suddenly slowed down and he said, um, uh, is it OK if we continue this conversation in English? Now, obviously, to be fair, I could have been a foreigner and obviously he couldn't really tell because his accent was quite distinctly foreign himself. So, you know, I know that, um, uh, for example, in France, people can't tell whether I'm from Scotland or from London uh, and, unless they're particularly fluent in English. Uh, all I am is English and sometimes they think I'm uh, Swiss and even worse, Canadian. Well, sorry, Canadians, I don't mean that, but it's about the accent, you know what I mean. Uh, but anyway, he said, do you mind if we could, is it okay to continue this in English? You know, as if I might want to speak French or German. And I, you know, I said, well, yeah, I would like to continue this in English, if possible. Uh, but anyway, there we are. I've been checked up on already. And um, I am uh, definitely here for the next 14 days, if anybody's looking in on this. Right, there we are. So, then, in the middle of the night, I woke up and another poem came to me. And I've written this in the last few hours. So, uh, and, you know, it might say something about my state of mind yet again. Here we are. It's an imaginary animal called the Tam-Tam. tam tan of the lonely song sports one eye like a Chinese gong and seven paws on five short legs the forward two like laundry pegs it carries its eggs in a leaky sack slung across its lumber back its head all bone its belly scowls it shuffles leaves with 15 towels, feeding on blue rock jam roots, its gong eye spots in Grisham shoots. It needs to eat a ton each day before it builds a bed of clay. The tam tan only has one use. Its spittle kills the runga goose. So dewcocks hunt it for its phlegm, which cakes to form a dewy gem. Tam Tan lives its life alone and rears its eggs into a clone. Each tan would live a hundred years, but life drains out in Tam Tan tears. Each one it sheds subtracts a day of tam-tam life expectancy. So, as by nature deeply sad, Tam's prognosis tends to bad. The only thing that cheers it up is sunshine from a buttercup. And as it dies, it starts to sing. 
Some say it is an offering, though experts state that's clearly wrong, for no one's ever heard its song. Well, yes, maybe a, a self-isolation poem, that one. But that just came to me in the middle of the night, so I'm making no excuses for it, and I'm not trying to explain it. Make of it what you will. Uh, but I quite, I quite, I, I, I like the Tam Tam. Uh, I think he's a, 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 a decent, well, imaginary creature. Um, so who knows what might happen in the next few coming days. Anyway, that's the Tam Tam and uh, I hope you enjoyed the poem. Uh, I'll be back again soon, but from Poetry Surprises and from me, John Hudson, it is bye for now.